Hi, this is Dave from geekanoids.co.uk. We've got a review of ProSoft's Data Backup 3 software. Check out our screencast review after this short break. Audio in this review is captured using equipment from sennheiser.co.uk. Welcome back. This is my review of Data Backup 3 from ProSoft Engineering. When you first launch the application, you are presented with a simplified window as shown on the screen here. You have a drop down menu at the top for selecting presets and also scripts that you may well have set up yourself in the application. There is a start now button which obviously starts the currently selected backup and there is also a schedule icon which allows you to schedule the event to repeat itself at certain periods of time. The text within this window here gives you a description of what the selected backup is going to do. If I click this drop down arrow here, it shows the backup options for the currently selected backup. Within the sources window, it tells you which folder or volume it's going to back up. And within the destination window, it tells you which uh, volume or if it's going to back up to CD or DVD, then uh, this will appear in this window here. If I want to get rid of this particular source I can click the minus button. If I want to add a new source then I click the add button and I can select which folder or volume is going to be appearing in this source list. And I can continue adding them if I want to add more than one volume or source to this list. I can also drag and drop into these windows so if I clear those completely out now and I go into my normal finder I can then drag a folder into here and I can also drag a destination into this window here. I have further options here I can uh, create new folders uh, missing items I can leave, delete or move to trash. I can compress files and also encrypt them. I can also set rules so I can make sure that I include file names that contain a certain string of text or I can exclude certain files. So for example if I want to back up a, uh, a complete folder but miss out my iPhoto library then I can add that into the list of exclusions here. I can also run scripts uh, before the backup takes place which is very nice. And then before I set this backup going you've also got the choice of clones which makes a bootable clone of a, a particular volume. I can also do versioned backups which will keep all of the previous backups I've made from a particular volume this is handy because if I keep four different versions and one of the backups has an error on it or goes wrong or I lose it completely then I can go back to a previous version which is very nice and synchronize well synchronize allows you to make a complete uh, synchronization between two volumes so any files missing on one volume will be copied to the other and vice versa If I go back to my simple copy as I set up earlier and click start now I have the option of running it without saving or saving it and giving it a name. I'm going to run without saving. I get a progress bar appear at the bottom of the window here. And then when the backup has completed, I get a message up the top here saying how many files were copied and how many megabytes were copied. Data Backup 3 from ProSoft Engineering is a very rounded package. It's very, very uh, straightforward to use. The user interface is set out very nicely. It requires Mac OS 10.2.4 or later to run and it costs £39.95 and it costs £39.95 in the UK. It's uh, high on my recommendation list. There are a few alternatives to it but certainly the uh, features that it offers and also the very nice user interface certainly come on the top of my list of priorities. This was my review of ProSoft Engineering's Data Backup 3. Thanks very much for listening. Come back soon and check out more reviews 
on geekanoids.co.uk. I'd like to thank Sims International Accessories for sponsoring this video review. Sims are UK distributors for Crumpler's range, which includes laptop bags, messenger bags, photo bags and backpacks.